In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Previously on Living Free Alaska, the sheetrockers have moved in and it's starting to feel like a home. Our boilers are installed and it's almost time to fire them up and heat up the house. And it's our first Christmas in Alaska and I fly down to Washington to bring up my mom for the New Year holiday. Click the link above if you've missed this video. Welcome back to Living Free Alaska. This video was originally shot in January of 2022. We are currently updating our new YouTube channel with this content to bring it up to real time. Expect new videos every day through the month of February and then we will return to a one video per week upload in real time. We thank you for watching and Let's get to the video. Good morning, guys. How are you today? Good morning. Today is January 8th. Okay. Uh, it's negative 10 outside, but 50 um, degrees in our shop. Well, that's 60 degrees warmer. Right? Well, I'd rather have the motor home in here. What do you say? Yes. Yes. So today is moving day. Absolutely is. Now, we still do not have shop doors, um, but we've come to the realization it's time to move inside. It is, uh, with the cold weather and all that. And we actually, we have a couple of storm fronts coming in. It's gonna dump, dump some more snow on us. So we wanted to kind of move into the shop before all that happens. And with the unknown delay of the big garage doors here, we're just gonna board up and insulate the doors so we can actually get this place heated up to a much more comfortable temperature and get the rest of the house heated up as well. We've so. also been fighting frozen water lines, um, so this right. will end that battle. We, uh, what, three nights ago, we were negative 24. Four. And uh, 20 below does something to our water lines, I mean, <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's the that's, end that's, all. That's the end. It's like once we get 20 below, we're done with hot water. So, uh, you know, we were able to recover today. It took three days finally to get finally get it back somehow. I don't know how we did, but it thawed out. So, but moving into the shop here is going to be the end all for that. And the motorhome can thaw out. And uh, we pray that there's no damage to our beautiful disco. Uh, I don't think there is, but uh, there's a lot of ice on top of her, and hopefully not within her too much. We actually did survive 20 below pretty well. Yeah. Uh, so to move know. mid January, all of our friends thought we would have moved somewhere other than where we were by now. I don't know what you mean by that. Well, a lot of people thought we'd either get a rental oh, or right, move right, in right. with friends or just not put up with what we put well, up. Well, you know, with. the other thing with, with the reason why the motorhome froze over or the hot water line froze over is because we weren't there. We were, we had a guest with us, her mama. My mom came and, and visited. And we were staying at some friend's house, so we weren't in the motorhome every night, uh, running water and doing things and this and that. So because we weren't there, we didn't, we, we froze the pipes. I think it I, makes a big difference, us being in it there. Does. Well, just using it. And yeah. I, that's what I told you, it's like, if it, goes, if it gets below zero, I'm supposed to, I should stay at the motorhome, and I didn't. I, no, he was enjoying house life. I was, so. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna show you the process of unwrapping the motorhome. Crossing and, uh, all fingers that uh, we don't have any issues. We haven't started her for since uh, July. No, we started her when we got the, the, the winter fuel. September. Was it October? October. October. That Somewhere was around since there. October. But the block heater's been on for almost 24 hours, so it should be warmed up. And that might have contributed to the water pipe on freezing too, with the block heater and so all that stuff's been warming up. I don't know. So, our biggest uh, challenges today are getting jacks up and slides in. Yes, uh, I have a couple of ideas of how to do those things in case we need to. I hope we don't, but cold weather makes things do slow things. Maybe. Cold weather makes everything slower. So. so we need to get moving because our builder and his crew are going to come to help us get inside by helping removing the plastic and then putting it back up. 
No. Well, wood the wood, I'm sure there'll be sheeting too involved yeah. Yeah. and making this a comfortable, habitable uh, space until we get to move in the house. Mm -hmm. All, All right, right, let's head outside, get, get uh, unpacking that motor home. I can't start it until we, like, unwrap it a partial way, so. So, let's get, get a get move on. Map, we'll start it up. What do you think, Soph? Huh, is it moving day? Yeah. How about your sister? You're just chilling, aren't you, huh? You ready to go somewhere? We're not going far. So we've dug out the uh, perimeter around the motorhome. It got quite a bit of snow build up over here from a combination of snow and, and, and just brushing stuff off the roof. Um, so this is what we did on the back back here. I think it's a rear engine. Diesel pusher, the engine's back here. I wanted to cover up the radiator grills uh, with, with the uh, skirting. So I did a double layer and there's also some bubble wrap and stuff inside. So I'm gonna start peeling that back and uh, see what we can get going. If our winterization of the motorhome interests you, we do have a full video uh, showing what we did over on our other YouTube channel, RVing to Alaska. And I will drop a link down below in the description of the video, as well up in the upper right hand corner if you're on a device that you can click through. Handy trick. My phone does not like sub-zero temps. Hand warmers. Whew. Came inside and it's a little frosty. So we're actually warming up. It's negative seven right now. We started at negative ten. So uh, that is good news. Just waiting on Gary to come inside and. Uh, We'll turn over the beast and hopefully she fires up. Oh, all right. Oh. Mama of truth. All right, well, it's that time. We've got to uh, start our, our beloved disco. So it's going to make some bells and whistles because the airbags are low and all this and that. And it's going to take a little bit for the block heater to warm, I think. But here we go. Walkie is warm. Shall we go? Well, how? Well, that was nothing. <laughs> there we go. Okay, next test is bringing up the jacks. We don't think they're frozen to the ground because they've been in a very dry, warm, well, semi-warm state all winter, uh, protected. So those are coming up next. Here we go. There they go. They're coming up. Oh, I see them, yes. Good. Very slowly. Oh, yes, we are. Woohoo! That hydraulic oil is yeah, thick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah baby. Woohoo! That's the last <laughs> thing. Now you are free. <laughs> Good. Everything worked perfect. Right <laughs> from the frozen grave. No, it's not a grave. Hibernation. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what do you think, Spirit? Come on, come out. Come on. Come on. Ah. Slides in. Jacks up. Uh, we're completely unhooked from shore power. And we're just getting her ready to, uh, well, I see we still have propane. Battery We've tender. got to deal with the battery tender and the propane line. And then we will free her from her hibernation spot. And uh, then we have to head to the gas station and fill up with propane. 
fun times. We should see what temperature it is now. I think it's, I think it's gotten warmer. Yes, I just checked. It is negative 1.5. So we're almost on the positive side of things. But for us, it's already positive. We're moving today. Look at Sophie in the windshield. She hasn't been in her window for a long time. Hi, baby. Hi. She doesn't like the camera. You'd never know. Way to our next destination. Woo! Feels good to be back behind the wheel of disco. <laughs> Haven't ever been on icy roads, so this is different. <laughs> well, that was a quick two mile drive to Three Bears. We are here to get fuel, and uh, here's the attendant right now, and she'll fill us up so we have uh, fuel for our cooking stove for the rest of the winter. Pretty exciting. <laughs> Daddy playing with you. Well, we're all filled up with propane. 33 gallons worth and uh, got a little fuel for ourselves some pizza and burritos and now we're headed back to the property and we'll get ready to put her inside for the rest of her winter hibernation Long day. I got a messy hair, head of hair. I don't care. We're in the shop. Now? Now we're going to work on with, with our builder. We're going to work on putting plywood and insulation up on the board, uh, doors because we don't know when our garage doors are coming in. So we're just going to make it work. Looking back at these videos, I can still feel the excitement we felt that very day. Moving the disco inside a warm shop was a huge goal of ours to hit before the winter hit Alaska. But due to forces beyond our control, we had to be patient and learn to live outside in our Fleetwood Discovery motorhome in some of the harshest elements that Alaska can throw at you. From negative 24 degrees below zero to ice and windstorms, we survived it all. And now, a new chapter is about to begin as we move inside undercover with a heated environment keeping us toasty warm as we start a new year with the second half of our build project our house portion of the build look at that it can't get much better than that all right well let's go see if we got shore power inside we can just plug in the 50 amp in our show yeah! <laughs> Woo you can eat all the willow you want here. You're welcome to stay. Yeah, we don't mind you here. Got a couple dogs. They might annoy you, but they're not going to hurt you. Yeah! 
Yep, get it, get it. Trim them down. They grow too much. Get the one behind you too, will you? No, behind you. Hey guys! Yeah, this is horrible! Ugh. <laughs> 44 degrees and rain. I am showing off. Wearing shorts. <laughs> well, and a hat and a sweatshirt. Well, you gotta keep the hat warm. That well, works. and I have really bad hair today, so <laughs> hat hair. Hi. But uh, what's today? Today? Too warm. Crappy. January 23rd ish. It's Saturday. I'm guessing it's Saturday. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, guys, our like almost all the snow is off our roof. It is raining at the moment. It's 44 degrees. It was 47 yesterday in Anchorage, an all-time record high for the date. But uh, yeah, things are melting. This is not good for the snowpack. Not good for anything. And the snow machiners and Nothing. oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's all out bad. But uh, we got a little wind going on, so I'm going to take us back inside. But I think you're due for an update tour. A lot of good stuff. All right. We just came inside from outside, and they just finished the primer on the drywall in the shop, in the workshop area. It looks fabulous. And uh, our tile has arrived for um, our fireplaces and our wood stove hearth. And we have garage doors for right there in the shop that still need to be installed. Our screen doors for all our sliders. Of course, we are nice and comfy here inside and we've made ourselves at home. We have a little outdoor living room, and uh, this is where we spend most of our time when we're home, hang out on the shop couch, and uh, my little table I made, and uh, watch some TV. We finally got a television. This is gonna be the shop TV, but uh, yeah, welcome home. As you can see, we've got some decisions to make. This is our flooring. And this is some of our cabinets and we need to make a decision on carpet. What do you guys like? We've got um, vintage pewter. I believe this one is smoke, no armor, and then smoke. Let us know in comments, which one do you like? Well, good morning, everyone. Today is January 25th, and we are just finishing up with the drywallers. And today, they're working on the masonry stone on our fireplace uh, area. We're gonna have a wood stove installed in this corner and so we are gonna tile all the way up this corner wall here with a stone it's gonna be absolutely beautiful here's the stone that we've chosen it's called arctic gray and uh, we're gonna put this in three places in our living room it's gonna be over here where the fire uh, wood stove is and then we are going to have it upstairs on our fly fireplace mantle wall in our mezzanine area, as well as right here on the back side of our bar. Uh, this will be an eating bar overlooking the kitchen. So they will all tie in together. So pretty exciting stuff. But this is our gorgeous living room. Just. I love the light. I love all the windows. 
Like right now, you can see the snow coming down, and at night, you can see the stars or airplanes buzzing around up there, or the eagles. There happened to be an eagle that just flew by. But yeah, it's pretty exciting. Spirit. Well, it's kind of an exciting day for us here today. We are getting our wood stove installed finally. Uh, Mike the tile guy is just about finished up on the on the yeah. base here. Yep, and uh, we're about ready to get the stove set on the uh, platform there, and these guys are gonna plumb it up through the wall and outside. Kind of an exciting day for us. I haven't had a wood stove for a long time, so this will be really nice. You might notice that we moved the placement of the wood stove from the other corner on the right to there on the left. We did this because sitting in our living room, we wanted to be able to look out at the wood stove in our view. And so we changed it completely just for the aesthetics of it. <laughs> look at that. It looks kind of nice. It's kind of okay, I guess. Just kind of nice? Yeah, that'll work. We're losing daylight and sunset just happened, but I think it looks fabulous. Oh, and there's a little whoop de whoop. Yeah. What do you think so? Ready to have a fire? Well, as you can see, our wood stove is finally installed. Uh, our tile guy will come back and finish up the wall where uh, it needs to be finished. But this is the very start of making the house pretty. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited to see it all start come together with our design concepts. I think, I think Gary's ready to make fire. We'll have to wait and see. The last week of January, Gary and I rented a snow machine to go on a day trip with friends up to a cabin by Petersville. We parked and left from Susitna Landing off the Parks Highway and started our ride just before sunrise. It was a beautiful morning to watch the sun come up and shine over the Alaskan range. This day trip was only my second ride on a snow machine in many, many years, and I can reaffirm to you how much I am looking forward to having my own machine in the future, because I am not a huge fan of riding two up as a passenger. We continued to ride some 30 miles one way into their cabin. Most of the trail was already set, but as we got closer to the cabin, we did have to break trail and do a little tree clearing to make our way in. Once there, we started a warming fire and had moose dogs for lunch. Gary and I still pinch ourselves on how this is our new life. We absolutely love it. By 2 p.m., we needed to start making our way back so we didn't have to ride too much in the dark. All day, Mount Forker and Denali shined brightly over us, and the sunset to the west was glorious. This ride solidified our want and desire to have our own sleds. Back in March of 2021, we snow checked two brand new Polaris sleds for ourselves. Gary ordered a switchback assault, and I have a Titan Adventurer. But as of January 2022, they still haven't been delivered or even built yet for that matter. 
At this rate, it looks as though our new sleds won't see snow until next winter, if we are lucky. Spoiled dog. Gotta love her though. She's worth it. time on Living Free Alaska, we revisit the month of February 2022, where Gary builds out his cabinetry for his workshop. We discuss what happens when a moose is struck and killed by a vehicle and a program that helps feed Alaskan families. We then attend our first Iron Dog snow machine start out in the swamps behind our house, and we try to get out of a couple sticky situations, or should I say icy situations, around the homestead. See you again tomorrow on Living Free Alaska. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.